Next question. So this question is directed to all parties. Concerning Canada on a more global level, who would you support in the upcoming American election to ensure a positive relationship as they are our greatest ally and trade partner whose policies greatly influence us? Okay, who haven't we started with recently? Uh, well, why don't we start this in again, Ms. Cadiz? Uh, yes, uh, for me, I would support the Democratic Party. Uh, it's really clear uh, the, the financial situation uh, definitely has contributed to the, the, the bad financial situation. They're troubling that affected families losing their homes there. Uh, it's definitely been affected by a war in Iraq, which was the wrong war, the wrong choice, and Steve Harper thought we should be in that war, as we all know, uh, and stayed very strongly with maybe some others. Ideas uh, and and uh, you know, the policies, uh, the, the health care. It's so important here. Our health care needs to be strengthened here. And this is something that our local plan is committed to getting more doctors, more nurses, ensuring that people get health care when they need it. Something that the Conservative government is not going to do. And I heard this on the House Committee time and again that they need to recommit to strengthening health care. And they do have a responsibility uh, as a federal government. It's a core responsibility. And so health care issues in the states are extremely important. The aging population there as well as here. Uh, so there's no question in my mind uh, that they need to change direction. Uh, they need to change leadership style. This antagonistic style that we've seen from the Bush administration, which is consistent with Mr. Harper, uh, fighting instead of working together. And so definitely I would support one for change in uh, terms of the Democratic uh, Party and uh, because it's really been a mess there and it's created so many problems and it has not lifted their country up and their people. And that's something that's extremely important for a nation leaders to do. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Kemp, sure. sorry. Well, it's not for Canadians to select the next government of the United States, it's for Americans. Um, we can all take a great interest and we may um, personally and privately cheer for one or another candidates or their vice presidential candidates, but I think it's essentially for Americans. With regard to the economic turmoil in the United States today, this isn't the result of any single administration. It goes back to terrible banking uh, legislation over the past quarter century. We in Canada have experienced uh, just the tip of the iceberg in the 80s and in fact our financial institutions were restructured and re-regulated and are much more accountable which is why we are not going to have the meltdown uh, that we're watching uh, um, our neighbor our American neighbors experience right now um, so I think we should all uh, bear interest I, I suspect many people will be watching tonight's national leaders debate here with picture in picture uh, catching uh, the audience moment from the American vice presidential debate, uh, but I don't think it's for us to, uh, to, uh, to take sides. Well, I'm definitely in favor of uh, Barack Obama being the next president of the U.S. The thing that scares me is that I'm not convinced he's going to win, um, unfortunately. So, um, but he's come up with uh, such such great um, ideas. He's he's an inspirational speaker, and I think he will really be able to to change the course that the U.S. is on. I mean, he's the first president in a while that's talked about environmental programs. He's talked about creating health care for 50 million U.S. Uh, citizens who don't have health care currently. I mean, there's a lot of things, a lot of work that the U.S. needs to do, and I think that sort of highlights how good we've got it here in. Canada. We like to complain about our health care system, but you know, if you really go and look at it, it's a pretty good system. Does it need improvement? Yes, it needs improvement, but I think the basics are there and the fundamentals are there. Um, just one point, I would, you, know, you guys are all very young still, and I would really encourage you in your lives to take a chance to travel to when you finish high school or during your time at university. Go and see, uh, travel in Europe or other places. It will really open your eyes to, to different ways of doing things. And I think I think that's really shaped my life and uh, the decisions I've made in my life and uh, I would encourage you to do the same. Thank you. Mr. Kent is saying that our economy is not going to be like the United States. We're not going to go down with the United States. Well, I'm glad that the Conservatives are so self-assured, but of course it's in their interest for us to believe that our economy is not going down. It is. 
It is going down. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Anyway, we need to we need to move around our economy in the kind of way that the NDP is proposing for uh, to protect people. It's time for a compassionate government. And I see things closing down and inflation going up here in Thornhill. Uh, the, the, if you want to go swimming, uh, Garnet or Duckbread, it now costs four seventy five from four fifty a few weeks ago. Uh, if you look at the, uh, the food at the promenade, it's going up. Uh, if you look at that Montana, that newest minister and center, they're closed. Uh, we see so such effects even in our own area here in Thornhill. And it's time we do something about this, and it's time we have a government that protects its people when the economic downturn comes. Okay. We're running out of time, so I think we'll, we can forego the responses on this question, and we can take one more question. 